Good evening and welcome back once again. So today we're playing at home to Andorra. Um, I've just had a quick look and you see this um, this main headline here. M. Schubert, which is our goalkeeper, fails to find form. I mean, he has literally pulled off some worldly saves. He's kept two clean sheets. The one game where he let in a goal, it wasn't his fault. It was a great strike. So again, that's just a load of rubbish. He's had pretty decent ratings for a goalkeeper as well. It's really hard to get good ratings as a, as a goalkeeper in pairs anyway, but I think he got a six in the last match. But as you can see, we've made a few changes here. So we've actually brought in Rice. Hedic is back. We we'll have dropped Herrera just because he's on a downward condition and, you know, want to give him a rest anyway. We're playing Andorra, who we, I shouldn't say it, but we should beat. And we've actually brought in Harrington because he's on an up condition in place of Artgas on the wing there, just to give him a try because he hasn't played much. He's played a couple of matches off the bench. But the, other than that, pretty much the same lineup. Now, because Argos isn't playing, he was our captain. Fabio Vieira, who's been magnificent and a leader in midfield, he's going to pick up the armband. And I'm, I'm thinking about making him permanent captain. But here we are. We're back at our home stadium. It's a wonderful stadium. And Xerxes got off the mark in the last game. He, I felt like he was uh, a little bit unlucky in a couple of the games. And he was in the last match. He, he hit the post early on and it looked like it wasn't going to go from. And then towards the end of the match, he got his goal. So I'm really pleased for him. And he's deserved it. Yeah, oh, just wide. He, without doubt, has been the star signing. Um... He's just absolutely running the midfield. And strangely, even though you don't notice him as much, the keeper has been magnificent. And I know I've mentioned it, he's pulled off some great saves, especially in that first match. But he wasn't our first choice signing. Um, but I spotted him and I just, there was two goalkeepers I was potentially going for. And there was something about him that I just thought he... Yeah, I don't know. He just I had a feeling that it would be a good signing, but he's turned out even better than what I thought. And I thought over time he will get better, obviously. Um, but... And I don't want to speak too early, but... I think he might be our goalkeeper for many years to come. Now, we do need a second-choice keeper. Because we have sold our current spare goalkeeper... And he will be going in January, so we'll have no backup at that stage. So we may look to sign one or just sign one from our youth team, for now at least. But yeah, depending on how much he improves over time, um, yeah, he could be our number one for many, many years. Now here's Carlos Perez. Again, he's been a really good sign. He had a, a brilliant uh, first game. Oh, lovely ball. What a wonderful pass that was. Not much space around. Plays it out wide though. Nice play. Aaron could be in here. Oh, what a save that was. Wow. And what's that? Uh. Well, I don't want a free kick. Well, that wasn't a free kick. I wanted the corner. Um, this is almost... It's, like, too close. <laughs> that in the last match, there's a couple of free kicks where I, I don't know what was going on. Um, how do you do... Yeah, let's do this. Well, that was a poor pass. That didn't work, did it? Not at all. This is why that's why I wanted the corner. It's too close to really putting a ball. Really going for the spectacular there. Perez are blocked. It was a pretty soft shot actually. You know, the, win, the midfield battle a couple of times. Got to be a little bit careful. Oh, 
wonderful pass and what a finish that was a second goal now his finish his finishing statistically is not the best but that's a couple of really good finishes um, that he's put away in the past two matches lovely play though Harrington oh, look at that touch that pass was wonderful first touch and just clipped it around the defender and with his left as well it's not his favourite foot but um, yeah Carlos Perez with wonderful assist and he's, he's caught a couple so far maybe two or three um, not sure how many he scored a couple of goals as well Yeah, we're going for the spectacular, but again, I mentioned in the last video, the amount of blocked shots that happen in, in this game and PES 2020 is, is unbelievable. It's just not realistic at all. And I know it's a computer game, but they've done something and thought maybe the shooting outside the box was too overpowered in some games, so they've maybe put something in to, to block shots easier, but it just happens way too frequently than would happen in real life, like remotely. And it does get a bit frustrating sometimes. I get you don't want to be scoring goals from outside the box all the time, but yeah. Anyway, it's very hard to make a perfect football game because what is good for someone is maybe not as good for someone else. So I, I get that. And I'm really enjoying this. Oof. That was a well-judged tackle. He, he saw where I was going. I was about to sort of cut back outside with my... Uh, left foot and ooh, managed to keep that in and he's playing on again not really sure it was a foul plays it quick that's a lovely pass and so is that what a little pass that was oh ho, 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 ho. That was just a fantastic all around. The, the kick from the keeper and then the pass to Xerxes was just fabulous. Yeah, Perez, I hope he gets an assist for that. Sometimes you don't get an assist if it's too long a time before the goal is scored. Look at that finish. Lovely. But again, Perez, nice first touch, but he just clips it over. And that's with his, um, with his right foot. just slides it in the corner there I'll have to check uh, afterwards to see whether it counts as an assist and I hope it does if I can have a look now um, no maybe a half time we can I, I know we're going to need to improve all of the team in time because there's not many of the original lineup that you do end up keeping. There's the odd one, the likes of Harrington, um, Arcas, maybe Bajer. Depends how much they improve, but so a lot of these players won't stay around and you know you gotta you've got to have a big squad eventually. But you've just got to prioritize. Um and I think I really need to buy a decent centre back. Um, two really in fact the defence overall you know the wing backs aren't that great and the reason why I dropped them back um, anyway it's half time so sorry I'm interrupting myself but let's just have a quick look at the stats so again you know just about the majority of the possession plenty of chances they have not had a shot on goal and Carlos Perez does get the assist so one of my complaints about some of the older Perez games Perez 6 especially that we just played is for you to get an assist you have to pretty much pass the ball within I maybe want to say like 2 or 3 seconds of, of the finish now that's not really realistic in real life if you're the last person to pass and um, the scoring player hasn't say lost the ball and then regained it for example it counts as an assist um, so yeah I mean <laughs> 2 assists and Two goals by the same people, so fantastic. And um, B 
but yeah anyway in terms of what we need to improve the the reason why we changed the line up a little bit the formation um was to be a little bit more defensively sound but also partly because the wing backs we've got i mean they're not that quick they're not that good at positioning and actual defending so you can't take as many risks um with that and we may not do that even if we do make some signs we'll make keep the formation exactly as it is like the the wing backs not massively attacking all the time just supporting now and again but that is one area that we need to improve the whole defense really i would say actually the midfield and the attackers in a really good place and the goalkeeping oh i thought that was in rice with a wonderful strike Nice little pass from Hitch there. Harrington lays it off. Very nice. But just wide. Now hopefully Vieira will get a better rating than he did in the last match. He didn't get a terrible one, but to me he was man of the match in the last game. And it, uh, yeah, he got I think a six or something. Um, but said it before many people will know that's a weird pass um the ratings on pairs are weird as in the match ratings they never seem to tally up really with what's happened i mean yeah if someone scored scored a hat trick they'll get probably man of the match but they still don't often get a good rating um like a nine or a ten i, th I can't remember what the highest I've, uh, sort of rating I've seen. I'm sure I scored like five or six goals of someone once on Pairs 2020 and then um, got a nine. Yeah, uh, oh, that was well wide. Sort of lashed at that a bit. Let's have a look again. Some nice touches. Oh, yeah, that's a uh, shot and finish from him. Let's make some subs though. So these are the changes we're going to make. We are going to bring on Coalfield for um, Sufet just because he's um, yeah he's running out of energy basically. We're going to bring off Vieira and Xerxes. We're going to actually put Arcas up top because he can play there. It really is a second striker normally, but we're just going to put him up top. And Bjer is going to come in for that attack midfield of all, which he's he's played pretty well at a couple of times, especially as a sub. But pretty comfortable so far. It's 2 0. As long as we don't do anything daft, um, we should have this game tied up. It'd be great to get a third goal, but it's it's more about we really keeping possession, not not taking stupid risks, but still attacking. Still want to keep the pressure on. Or we'll try to thread it through there. Didn't quite work out, but might get the ball back, and we'll do. Carlos Perez, probably going to be man of the match, I would say. Well, no, but, uh, Xerxes, actually, because it obviously goals really count more than assists, don't they? But I think he's been in just... Yes, Xerxes he's finished it, but he's just been so influential in the game. Nearly a decent pass, and August didn't really, uh, wasn't the best movement there, he didn't really react. Arcas, and there it is, 3 0. This time it works, Berger linking up with Arcas, the two substitutes, the two youngsters. Really nice finish there. Yeah, a little one two or one two three even. Um really nice. You know, Arcus has got a good finish for him and I don't think he's really that suited out wide. I think he is better in that centre role, whether that's a tight midfielder, second striker, striker. But just with the talent we've got up the middle, he doesn't really he's not probably gonna get a chance there with the formation we've got, unless like I say he comes on as a sub or arrest and plays. Um, attack midfielder roles we've actually got quite a lot of cover 
he could play in centre midfield, I suppose. Um, again, we've got sort of some decent cover there. Depending, like you know, Jerry Rice has been in form as well, though. I keep calling Jerry Rice. I don't know if he's actually called Jerry Rice. Um, if the pro spotting game is watching, then obviously I used to watch your your beloved master league careers. Oh, um, hopefully he'll do another one at some point, but. I'm sure you used to call him Jerry Rice, and I don't know if that's actually his name, and I think it's stuck with me. Yeah, but on that topic, actually, if you haven't watched any of the Pro Spartan Gamers stuff, um, he hasn't been uploading massively consistently, consistently like the past couple of years. Um, he has got some videos on there, and I'm sure that he'll do some more in the future, Some maybe some Master League when eFootball releases that. Um, but go check him out, he's got some really, really good old... Oh, hang on a minute. That's right, do it. He's got some really good um, series that he did, especially the PES 16. I think it was the PES 16 and PES 17. Um, Master League. Played a lot of matches in those, some great videos. Go check him out if you can. Lovely player there. Out wide to Harrington. Can he have a shot? Oh, good save. I mean, it was more... The keeper didn't really seem to know too much about it, but strong hands. Again, wonderful play from the winger. Argas then plays Harrington in. Strong shot, and it just sort of hits his wrist, really. Um. No, I think we're going to have Arcas take it to get the in swing it. Haven't really got any star players for corners by the looks of it, but um, it's not the most important thing. I'm sure in time when we buy more players, we'll have someone there that'll be really good at taking set pieces. Perez, again, it's blocked. See what I mean, though? Like... Um, the block shots thing it you, know, you might say the more matches you watch um, or if you play it and you oh dear what's going on there don't uh, throw your clean sheet away the last second and then I give it away yeah really really good game Zirkzee with a couple Argas with one uh, Perez got a couple of assists Again, just over 60% possession. I think we've had that in at least two or three matches now. 14 shots with a nine on target. And as I thought, Xerxes got man of the match with Carlos Perez, a, a close second. And that's that's about right. Argas got a seven. Yeah, he, he played when he came in. He got a goal. So you expect that Bajer got an assist. Vieira played well. Harrington actually picked up a little bit in the second half as well. So yeah, some really good all-round ratings there. That, for Perez, those are pretty decent ratings. And we've actually got a couple more transfer offers in. So Ericsson, who is one of our starters in centre-back role, we are going to accept that though. We can bring in some youth or can look to sign someone in January, but we're going to accept that. Remember that he won't actually get transferred until the 1st of the 1st. Again, it just boosts up the salary budget a little bit. And Pallister, he's never going to get a game, so we'll accept him as well. Obviously making some um, outgoings. It's just going to free up a little space in our squad players we're not going to use anyway and also it means that we're reducing the salary budget that we're paying out but yeah just wanted to say which i, I know i have done in the past couple of videos but really appreciate you guys support it it means a lot to me it's great seeing some pez fans there getting lots of comments from people that are regular pez players and are, are happy with playing the older ones and been playing some of the newer ones as well so if you can leave a like that'd be appreciated but i think more importantly if you can drop a comment down below what PES game are you playing? What's your favourite? Have you tried PES 2021 or not? And, and what do you think of it if you have? What would you like to see from eFootball? Because I'm really interested to see what they do with Master League when they release that. I really want to get into eFootball, but I'm not going to do it until they release that Master League. And I hope they do a good job at it. I really, really do. But yeah, please join me next time. Just actually, I'm not sure who we're playing. Let's have a quick look. The next match is against Racing Santander. So join me for that one. Can we push on in the league? Can we keep the win streak alive? Maybe get another clean sheet. Join me for that one. And I will speak to you all soon. Cheers.